everyone, and welcome to Let's Get Crafty. This is Miss Becky at the Glen Carbon Library, and today we are going to be doing our final fall Let's Get Crafty project, and this one is one that I am excited about because I have two guests joining me today, illustrious crafters in their own right, Owen and Bronte. Would you guys like to wave to the camera? Hello. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> okay. And now we're not going to be obsessed with our hands in the camera, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Okay. So today we're going to be doing the leaf hand print towels. And I have Bronte and Owen here joining me because um, I could put my hand prints on the towel, but that wouldn't be nearly as fun as having a towel with your hand prints on it, right? Yeah. And your hands are bigger, so we'll be able slightly to bigger. Although your hands are, you're gaining on me. That's for sure. I'm gaining. That's for sure. Go team. Um, I could put hand prints on the towel and send it to Nana. Do you think Nana would like a towel yeah. with my yeah. hand prints on it? <laughs> I'm glad you guys are here to help me. So normally I have an example to show you, but um, I didn't want to create a towel with my hand prints. So I'm just gonna show you the picture of what we're working with, working towards. Um, we're going to be making towels that look similar to these. So we're going to be using yellow paint, orange paint, red paint, and doing some hand prints. And then we're going to take brown paint and go back in and paint in some details. And then what we'll need to do after we've painted the towels is be patient let the towels dry for a few days and then to set the paint you're going to want to iron the back of your towel um, and we can go over those instructions a little bit towards the end so in your kit that you have picked up we have got a tea towel you've got a foam brush and a uh, smaller detail brush and then the paints that you are getting, they are non-toxic. Each one of these says non-toxic on the back. You won't be getting a full bottle of this. You will be getting, um, you know, the little plastic cups that we, when you have a, the craft with paint in it or something like that. Um, so those little plastic cups, you'll be getting one with each of these colors in it. But for the simplicity of it today, I'm just showing you the bottles. And we're gonna be putting some paint on a paper plate to do it that way. So hold on just a moment. Um, the first one that we are working with is um, a yellow paint called yellow ochre. You want to show the next one Owen? Mm -hmm. The next one is uh, orange red which is this nice fall orange color. What's the next one Bronte? Ruby red. Ruby red. A nice bright red color. And then the last one, espresso brown. Espresso brown. So, it's coffee me. color, isn't it? A nice you brown coffee not, color. You better not drink it though, <laughs> even though it's not toxic. Even though it's not toxic. I don't think I would be tempted to drink this. Mm -hmm. I don't think I would be tempted to put any of these in my mouth. I don't think anyone should, <laughs> no. should they? No. I don't want to eat a no. ruby. And we've also got some paper. You don't want to eat a ruby. It'd that would be hurt. Hard. It would be. We've also got some paper underneath to protect the table. Um, and I've got baby wipes here so we can clean hands off. We are going to work from yellow to orange to red, and then the details will get put in at the end with the brown. And that way we don't need to wipe off hands in between colors. It'll give a little bit of extra texture to the leaves. Owen. <laughs> I'm gonna set this aside. One other thing we should probably mention, when we're doing a craft with paint or something else that is messy, what should we do? We need, we should roll up our, our sleeves and take off watches like the one that I was wearing. That's a good idea. So that way we, they don't, we don't get paint on them. Yeah, and try your best. Either put on a smock maybe, or try your best not to get fabric paint on your shirts, right? Because okay. those paints are made for fabric and that and it would end very badly. It could it could. Yeah, you just could end up with some stained clothes, that's true. So I've unfolded our towel. Um, I think so 
so it doesn't bleed through. I don't know exactly how it might bleed, but I think the best thing to do is going to be to spread this out a little bit. Um, <laughs> ooh, I could just bop the camera with my head, goodness. Okay, so you will have more space to spread out, but I'm just trying to get this in the view of the camera. All right, so we've got that spread out. I want it a little straighter, there we go. Okay, and, okay, do you guys see the part down here where my hands are? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna feel comfortable if I paint your hand, um, pressing your hand this far away from you? Can you stand up and try it? See if you can stand up and press over here though. Yes. And yes. And that, does that feel comfortable doing it that way? Yeah, it okay. feels fine. And let's try not to shake the camera every time. Every time we shake the, mm -hmm. the table, it shakes the camera. Okay. So, with that in mind, I'm going to get our paper plate. You can move your hands now. That's okay. I'll let you know when I need you. The other thing we want to keep in mind, do you guys see this picture? Mm -hmm. Do you see how their, their handprint, they're not lined up, are they? How do leaves fall when they fall? They fall like they're not wavy. wavy. It goes like <laughs> exactly. Four. Yes, yes. But they can't see your, how, do they fall like this? Mm -hmm. They just fall randomly, don't they? So do you see how in the picture? They fall out of the screen and in the screen and out of the screen and in the screen. Yes. Do you see how in the picture it, it, it's a random handprint mm -hmm. like that? Yes. Okay. So we're going to try and do that as well. Okay. So when I get the paint on your hand, before you press it down, Let's decide what direction you want to press it. Does okay, that sound good? I want it. I want to start here and work our way. Actually, you know what? I want to start here because this one is the one in the view in the camera, mm -hmm. um, and I want to treat this like the front of the towel. And if we have enough paint, we can go for the back. Mm -hmm. But we might have just enough handprints. Although with the size of your hands, it'll really just depend on the size of the hands you're working with. Okay, so we've got our paper plate. And I'm going to shake up this paint because I haven't shaken it yet. And when we're doing these colors, I've got some questions to ask you. Pop quiz. Pop quiz. Pop quiz hot shots. What's the pop quiz? You'll see. Ugh, I hate surprises. <laughs> this, is a, this is a nice surprise, I promise. These are easy questions. They're fun questions. Okay, so in each of your uh, cups, you're going to be getting some paint. And it's going to be about a quarter size of paint. And then you've got your foam brush. I'm going to move the paint. The paint. Mm. Actually, you know what? I think we'll do... All of these on camera and then we can set the paper plate aside so that was our yellow that's our orange shake my red and I wanted to mention too the yellow the orange and the brown are fabric paints I could not find the red color in fabric paint so I had to go with the acrylic paint and this is the reason why it's really important that you iron your towel before you wash it so it can set that red paint. And hopefully that will work out well for all of us. Because I know when you put this much effort into so beautiful. A, craft that, a craft that you want to keep, um, you want it to stay nice for years to come. What were you saying? It's really beautiful looking. Yes, it is. Those are pretty colors, aren't they? Nice fall colors. Okay, so we've got our yellow. What color is this? Orange. Orange. And what color is that? Red. Red. Okay. Was that the pop quiz? That was not the pop quiz. <laughs> that was for the kids at home who are younger than you who are still working on their colors. Right? Uh -huh. okay. oh. Please don't shake the table. Okay. Move your, use your feet to move around your chairs. Okay. All right. So, who would like to go first? I need someone's hands. How do we want the hands to fall at the edge of this? Do we want... We want it sort of like that. We want to start from the, the bottom right here. Can uh -huh. we see that on camera where I'm touching? Not really. Let's shift it backwards a little bit. Okay. Well, there we go. So, can you, we want to stay, do you see these creases right here? Uh -huh. That'll kind of help us keep us inbound, uh -huh. inbounds. So, we want to stay 
In this crease, where do you want to put your hand? Right here. Right here. In the center, babe. I'm saying, uh, yeah, right there. Right here. Okay. So can you stand up and go a little further down for me? So right there. Does that sound good? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then try to, yeah, the way your fingers are is just right, I think. Good. Okay. So flip those hands over for me. Bronte, you're going to go first? Mm-hmm. All right. Let's, you ready? Yeah. Tell me how this feels. <laughs> kind of ticklish. Kind of ticklish? Fun. Good. So we're going <laughs> to paint. Yeah, try and hold still for me. So I've got a lefty and a righty. Bronte is my southpaw. She's chosen her left hand. So that's one way you can sort of make it unique too, is have the dominant hands of your kids if you have a lefty in the mix. And that'll add a little more variety too. And if you don't have kids, you can just use your husband or your wife. Well, that's true, but mostly it's uh, families with kids that do these projects. But yeah, this could be this could be anybody doing this. Absolutely. Yeah, it looks kind of like yellow wood on the fingers. Uh, so Bronte has a yellow hand. Okay, Bronte, like what we talked about, towards the edge. Try to see where that edge is and put your fingers somewhere close to that. Make mine right red. there. Press it down. Can you make mine red? We, I can make yours yellow right now. We're going to choose a different. Okay, lift your hand straight up. Oh, cute! Very now cute. Now my hand is yellow. And now your hand is yellow. So, be careful with that hand. Try not to put it anywhere. Okay. We're going to do this as quickly as we can. Okay. So. I'll be caught yellow-handed. Yes, yellow-handed. Now we're going to do your hand. Caught. Paint your hand. How's that feel? It's really ticklish. Is it? Do your best. Oh, I've got a super ticklish dude here. Do your best. I did, I did not realize this was going to be a challenge for you. I should have thought about that. I think we need a bit more paint. Hold your hand up for me a little so we don't get it on the fabric. Thank you. Okay. Me and Bronte are eight and nine. Bronte and I, and yeah. yes you are, eight and nine. That's true. I'm eight, she's nine. That's right. Almost 10. And they might know you from all the videos we did this summer together, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, and we didn't, we should have talked about it ahead of time. Where would you like to put your handprint? Don't I'm press like it down just yet. That direction. Could we, could we go a little further up and turn it like sideways in some way? Remember how these were? Like this? Various angles? That's great. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Yep, we already, we committed. I thought you were going further up. <laughs> okay. And let me move my hands. You keep yours right there, and I'll hold the fabric. Pull up. There we go. Well, that didn't, hmm. Let's try putting a little more. Mm, it smells good. That's good. Let's try putting a little more on your thumb and your pinky, okay? Pinky. Yeah, for some reason those didn't take so well. Let me think about the way, oh, I think I, sh I didn't paint the inside of your thumb enough. Hold, hold your hand up. I've got to really get at this paint. Okay. My hand is turning gold. Yep. Let me think about how this turns. And I want, okay. I thought you had plenty of paint on your pinky. You want to make sure that you're lining your fingers up when we go down again. Make sure you line your fingers up the way you had them, okay? There we go. Okay. And we want to make sure to press down all the fingers. That's what I think I need to be doing to make sure we get all the joints. Yeah. Does that hurt? I'm sorry. No. Nah. Okay, good. It actually feels nice. Oh, good. Like massage. Can Here I we pull? go. Pull up. There we go. That's mm -hmm. better. That's better. Okay. So, the next hand print that we're going to do is orange. Oh, and I didn't ask you the questions. We were so worried about the technique. 
for yellow, I wanted to ask you, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food? And you can tell me that while we're painting your hands orange. How about that? It's going to be sister's turn next. Okay. Same paint, paint hand as before. So we're just going to go over it? In the camera, please. Yeah, we're just going to go over the yellow. Yep. Actually, you know what? Is it drying on your hands? No, it is. Hmm. Do we want to try and take some of that off with a baby wipe, or are you happy with that? I want to try, try and get some of it off with a baby okay. wipe. Can I try while she's at it? Yes. Okay, so the question was, what is your favorite... Um, what is your favorite Thanksgiving food? Oh, mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. What about you, Owen? Obviously the cranberry relish. Oh, the cranberry relish is one of my favorites too. Absolutely. And the mashed potatoes dad has to have or it isn't Thanksgiving. It's so messy, I need another one. That's okay. I think we'll just go with just cleaning it off. A, nope, we're going to go with just cleaning it off a little bit so we can do these next paints. Bronte, that's good enough, uh -huh. I think. Okay. So let's get some orange paint on your hand. All right. It still smells the wonderful color of gold. Oh yeah? Can I do the inside of your thing a little bit? You're always gonna touch. Oh, I'm getting a little. I'm getting a little yellow in from the brush. That's okay then. It just might create some... You know, there are plenty of... Go ahead, what were you going to say? It might just... Yeah, there are plenty of mixed leaves. It might just create some interesting colors. Yes, and oh, I think we're kind of doing this off camera. We've been painting Bronte's hand a very orange color. It looks lovely. Very, very orange. Okay, and we should have talked about where you're going to put it. Now, leaves can kind of overlap. Do you want to do... Where would you like to stick yours next before you press it down? Mm, like... Like that? Okay, let's go for it. Okay, and press. Oh, try not to press your hand into the paint we already have on the tape, on the, <clears throat> what do you call it? Towel. <laughs> towel, I was gonna say fabric, yeah, towel. All right, and, okay, lift up. Oh yeah, now we're getting the hang of it. Very good. And now my hand is neon orange. Now, oh, it is, <laughs> it is neon. It's a, now, here's what here, my go ahead and clean off your like. hand while we work on Owen. Okay, and so Owen, it's your turn. And Owen, okay, so the, the question I was going to ask you guys, oh no, I just dipped in red. Goodness, I'm getting carried away here. Okay, we're going back to the orange. Owen and Bronte, for orange, I wanted to ask you, what is your favorite Thanksgiving memory? Um, hmm. It's honestly hard to remember. Is it? Do your yeah. best here, ticklish dude. Well, think about I how we spend... I remember one day when I was just really enjoying the cranberry relish with a lot of family before this whole corona thing. Yeah. That is one nice thing about Thanksgiving, isn't it? Getting together with family. Uh, I one thing I liked was how we all got in a line for the stuff. What stuff, baby? Like the food. Oh, yeah. Who do you normally like to see on Thanksgiving? Mm -hmm. I, I like to see Nana a lot. Yeah. Same. Yeah. We miss She's her. one of those playful Nanas who has a magic bag that gives us toys. <laughs> that, you know. She is, you know that she kind, is don't you? generous in that way, isn't she? Yeah. yeah. I, I really wonder how she, if it actually just appears in those. One never knows. Okay, so Owen, where are we going to place your hand before we put it down? What angle do you want to put it at? I think it would be nice to have an orange one right here at the bottom, sort of overlapping, like right. Ooh, or if you could turn a little bit, you could turn it and have it sort of angle. Bend your elbow for me. Bend your elbow on your wrist. Bend your elbow for me. Where's your elbow? There we are. There's your elbow. Okay, hold your hand flat. And all right, put your fingers together a little bit, and let's place it right here. And then squeeze your fingers. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. squeeze, 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 squeeze. Luckily, I have a strong hand since I've been tossing rocks. It. There's this little project we're doing 
by a sewer? No, we're not going to talk about that right now, buddy. Okay. Okay. Oh, I can pull up your hand. Pull up your hand. I am. Okay. Hmm. That one didn't take so well. Okay. I don't know why. Maybe not enough paint. I feel like we're not having enough paint when it's your turn. We'll have you go first on the red one. Let's do a little more orange on you. What about the um, parade? Do you guys like to watch the parade in the morning? That's one of my favorite memories. Yeah, I love that. What was that? The Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade that we watch oh, in the yeah. morning. Oh yeah, that. So I think the one thing we're learning is this paint dries very quickly. So do it quick. Yeah, I was gonna say better to uh, better to discuss where you're gonna place hands before the paint is on the hand, right? Okay, Owen. This is our first time doing it. It is. We're figuring it out as we go. Can you line that up the way it was? Right there and press your fingers down again. Squish, 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 squish. Oh gosh, it's getting everywhere. <laughs> okay, pull up. Squish. That's better. Wow, that's, that's a lot better. That is a lot better, yeah. I'm going to use a baby wipe on my hand. I'm you so can get a baby shy. wipe on yours. My, my wife looks like I ate too much Cheetos. <laughs> it does look like you ate a lot of Cheetos. That's true. Give it. I couldn't get them off with an napkin. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, that was it for the orange. And now we're going to do some red. Beige. Beige? No. <laughs> beige. There, are, there are beige leaves out there, but they don't make the prettiest. Uh, Trees. Well, the prettiest craft, maybe. Um... Okay, so, oh yeah, I want to do your best on that. I ate way too much Cheetos, come on. Okay, well, let's get another one then. Go ahead, get another one. I'm gonna get a bellyache from the Cheetos. Oh, are you? Okay, so, Bronte. Um, I think we said we were gonna let Owen go next, go first on the red, so he could, he could choose where to put his. We need, I think, a handprint. Right here, sort of tucked in here, and maybe another one over here. Does that sound good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Owen, are you ready? I have a Cheeto craving. Here. Hold your hand out for me, please. Yeah, it dries quickly on the skin. And you do not have to be as persnickety about these as we have been. Um, I've got it all over me as well. It might be easier just to do it. Yeah, just do it one paint after the other. And then wash your hands very good afterwards, right? We're yeah. gonna do that in just a moment. Okay, so Owen's turn with the red. Here we go. And the question for red is, what is something that you are grateful about this year? I have a lot of new friends in my class. That is a good thing to be like grateful a, for. Like at least six. That's wonderful. Friends are important. Mm -hmm. That might be, that we, we've actually found ways to make holidays fun. We have, haven't we? We yeah. can still have a lot of fun, even when we're being careful. Absolutely, I think <laughs> that's wonderful. I wrote this interesting invention Okay, let's to press make, your hand down real quick. Yeah, to make kimono. Let's turn your hand, let's turn so your thumb is facing that way. Turn your hand that way. Yeah, there we go. And let's kind of maneuver. Pull off it right there. So, something about a fantastic invention? Is that what you were saying? Yeah, not fan, like, it, it's just another way to make kimono fun. Yeah, okay. Like, space Ooh. tubes. Space tubes? What, what are space, space tubes? It's where you put something circular. It's kind of like a barrier around you. You pull it up. A couple of people can do it. So Clean when your you're, you won't run into people, you, it's just going to like bonk into the other tube. 
Oh, interesting. Well, I haven't heard anything about that. Bronte, are you ready for your turn? Uh -huh. is okay, it Owen, without touching anything, can you stand up and let Sister sit in your spot so that she can get her hand here carefully? Uh, is that an actual invention? Uh, yeah, it's something people have found they can do. Hmm, interesting. Can you move out of the way for me, please, babe? Thank you. All right. Can you move over to where, you can move over to where Sister was sitting? Thank you. Okay, Sister, your turn. Do you know what I, I haven't even told you any of my answers to the questions, have I? I've been very focused on what we've been doing. Yes, you have not told us anything about it. My favorite food is the cranberry relish, because Same. that's the only time of year we do that, and I do love it. And my favorite, well, my favorite memory on Thanksgiving is getting to spend it with our extended families. Those, we don't get to do that. Hold your hand out straight for me. Um, we don't get to do that every year, so when we do, it's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. And the thing I am most grateful for this year is you guys. Because you guys have been so positive, so flexible, so sweet and kind, thinking about other people, and just, you've done such a good job this year of making the best of things, and I really appreciate that. Oh, that outlook has helped me at times. All right, yeah. Chick, let's turn your hand. Is that a good spot right there? Yeah. You comfortable with that? Squish. Squish. Squish, 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 squish. We've got to have, we've gotten to have some, a lot of good family time this year too, haven't we? Yeah. And I think despite everything else, that is something, hold it, go ahead, pull your hand up. There we go, good one. That is something we will look back on, I think, with I a lot of... I have another thing to talk about. What would you like to talk about? Book recommendations. Oh, yeah, definitely. Let's, um, let's get set up for showing people how to do the details. Okay, so we've been chatting a lot as we've been doing this, but you can see the final outcome is pretty cool. I'm happy with the way this turned out. Um, if you've got one hand that ends up a little smudgy, that's okay. I've got another good example of his hand in the mix. And leaves fall when they're falling. They they land on top of each other, don't they? They don't land yeah. in a straight line. Another thing I'm grateful for about my body is my fingerprints. Your fingerprints. Yes. I really think it's interesting. It's kind of like an oval shape. Yes, those do come in handy for things. Um, okay, so we're gonna go. We're gonna show how to do the details to turn these. Um, hand prints into leaves. So I've got my brown paint. And I'm going to put it on this paper plate. And, oh, and you can go ahead and have a seat, babe. Don't try not to touch anything with your hands, please. That's why I want you seat, seated so you're not wandering around touching things with your paint hands. Okay, so we take a little bit of brown on our paintbrush. And let's see, let me find the best. This was our first hand print, I believe, so I think that's gonna give me a good starting place. And I am going to use the paintbrush and outline it. Outline it, exactly. Thank you. Just outline these little hands. Not so little anymore. Not they used to be really little, though. I they remember did. this Christmas on them ornament where my hand, my whole hand used to be like the size of my palm. I know. You guys are getting taller every day and your whole body grows every day. And very soon you will be taller than me. Hooray! Think you'll ever be taller than dad? No. No? Maybe not? If it, if it would, it would be like by like an inch. <laughs> Dad's very tall, isn't he? Do you want to tell people how tall dad is? He's six foot like four or something? That's right, yeah, he's six foot four. 
Is this on camera? Yes, thank goodness. Okay. So I Book. am doing my best with this one where the, the hand didn't turn out quite as detailed as we wanted it to be. That's okay. One, two, three. But we did get all, <laughs> for a moment there I was thinking we didn't get one of the fingers. That's absolutely okay. That's part of hand the fun prep. of these fun of these crafts is they are never meant to be perfect. perfect. That's right. Um, and that's something we talk about on each one of these mm -hmm. each one of these craft videos is <laughs> it's not meant to be perfect. It's meant to be fun. Uh -huh. Have we had fun doing this? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. If you had the ability to, to do them perfect then these might not really be that fun because you were so good at them. Well, that's true. We learn as we go, right? Uh -huh. And sometimes, yeah. you know, at some point it'll be... Life is no fun without learning. That's, that's right. That's true. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we have our hand outlined. Now what's going to turn it into a leaf is that I'm going to put a little stem on it. Right here. And then that stem is going to go up through the palm of the hand and then we're going to feather it out a little bit, <coughs> little lines. Um, let's see. It's very beautiful. Oh, thank you, buddy. Mm -hmm. Our hands and your outlining. Mm-hmm, that's right. And if you've got older kids who would like to paint the details for you, then you can certainly let them outline a hand. How does that look? Good. Good? Looking when, back at the picture, yeah. that's really good. Good, yeah, I think we did our best. What do you think? I think you did your best and it was amazing. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Oh good, I'm glad. It's amazing. Well, that is it for our what we have planned for today. We'll go through and we'll go ahead and outline the rest of these as well. And then, like I mentioned before, what you want to do is you want to let your paint dry um, for, now directions I've seen online say a few days. Um, I'm guessing that's with projects that have a lot of paint in the mix. Um, I think you definitely want to make sure, you definitely want to give it a day just to be sure that it's dry, maybe even two days, um, or just set it aside and the next time you have the iron out for something, you can complete this. When you go to iron it, you do not want steam, right? Mm -hmm. Steam creates moisture, that will create a problem for this. You want it to be a dry iron. And um, the best way to do it is to set down a piece of fabric over your ironing board, a scrap piece of fabric, and then set down <clears throat> your towel, uh, flip it over so the side that is painted on is against that scrap fabric. And then you take your dry iron and you iron it on like medium to medium high uh, for three to five minutes to set the paint. Um, and I think that's it. Are you giving a thumbs up? Yeah. <laughs> a very painted thumbs up. Do you want to show everybody how your hands look after we did these baby wipes? Still very painty, right? Medium high, bye bye bye. <laughs> Okay. Thumbs up again. Um, I won't even show you the pile of baby wipes. It's it's crazy. Um, so you guys, what's the next step in what we do? Washing our hands. Washing your hands very well, not touching anything. I'm going to help you get into uh, the restrooms to wash your hands very well before we do anything else. Um, for everybody else, thanks for joining us. We really appreciated it. This is our last Let's Get Crafty for the fall. Um, I will be back probably in, I think it's January. Um, I don't have anything planned just yet, so if you guys have ideas about crafts that you think would be a good Let's Get Crafty craft, please let me know. I'm always go looking for good ideas um, that a group of people can do. Um, and with that in mind, we want to tell you Happy Thanksgiving, right? This video is going up just before Thanksgiving. Do you want to tell everybody Happy Thanksgiving? Happy, happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, Medium and you guys, high, bye, bye, we hope bye. everybody uh, has uh, happy holidays coming up as well, no matter how you celebrate. 
Um, and yeah, I think that's it. Everybody have a good day. Medium high. Bye, 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 bye. Okay, Owen. We're saying goodbye now. Bye, everyone.